Hey guys, uh, Nelson Cuesta here with agentfire.com and today we're going to be talking about Google Mindset or basically just the mentality that you need to cultivate when you're formulating your real estate web content strategy for 2014 and beyond. Uh, this is going to be a really basic lecture uh, and what I'd like to do is just kind of go through the history of Google so you can see where it came from, where it's going and, and just understand the mentality that you need to have going forward. The reason that we're making this video today is because I still, uh, on a daily basis, speak with agents and brokers and real estate professionals in general who have a very dated, archaic understanding of the, the sort of, not only the things that they need to be doing, but just the mentality in general. It really, it starts with the mentality and that's why we're gonna be focusing on that today. Uh, to illustrate this point, what I'd like to do is just briefly uh, go through the history of Google's algorithm. Uh, this is going to be an absolute horrible <laughs> history lesson, but we're just gonna focus on a few things so you can kind of understand the path that Google's taking so that you can, you can see kind of where it's going and make sure that you're on the same page that you need to be. So uh, starting in about you know, year 2000 and, and before that, uh, really if you wanted to rank a site or a page well, all you had to do was just spam a keyword. So if you were trying to rank for Calabasas real estate, all you had to do was make sure it was on your page or post uh, 100 times and it was gonna rank well. Uh, moving along, 2002, that's the first time you start to see page rank. And this is still a huge factor in Google's algorithm, although it's evolved a lot. Uh, page rank is basically the first time that Google starts to look at off-page factors when determining how to rank your site or your page, uh, specifically links and clicks. So links were kind of seen as votes of confidence for your site. If, if Google saw that there were 10 links from other websites to your site, hey, it can't be, uh, can't be a bad site. Uh, moving along, so with the advent of PageRank, what ended up happening uh, is uh, around 2007-ish, this is kind of the, the golden age of uh, directories and reciprocal links. So uh, if you had a real estate site during this time, this is all going to sound very familiar. Uh, directories were basically, so a real estate directory, for example, was just you, you would put their link or their badge on your website, you'd put and then and they would put your link on their website. So Google saw this as kind of a reciprocal, um, they saw a link to your website and at the same time you were helping promote that directory. So it's a win-win situation, even though most normal people never use <laughs> these directories. Uh, then you also had reciprocal links. So the, the, the good or the white hat way of going about getting uh, reciprocal links was to contact related individuals in your industry. So maybe you were contacting mortgage guys or insurance guys or other real estate agents and you say, hey, uh, I'll put my link on your website. You put your link on my website. Uh, everyone wins. Google sees a bunch of votes of confidence. What ended up happening with this is you have a lot of people that were basically set on gaming or taking advantage of the system and it's always going to be that way. So what ended up uh, uh, spawning from this is you had a lot of link farms and, and to a lesser extent uh, doorway pages. So link farms in particular, again if you had a real estate website uh, and even still today this, this stuff sh it should sound really familiar. A link farm is basically where uh, Peter from India will set up 500 links to your site for $37. Um, what could go wrong with that, right? <laughs> so what ended up going wrong with that is Google had uh, released two big changes to its algorithm, uh, the Penguin and the Panda updates, uh, which of course are a lot more technical, but the long and short of it is that anyone who is engaging in these black hat practices or these, these uh, illegal um, SEO, you know, search engine optimization manipulation type practices was severely uh, impacted. Uh, I know a lot of agents and brokers personally that were very much affected by this. Uh, either their sites were just pushed way, uh, f very far away from, from page one, uh, or they were just removed from Google completely. And it took months, uh, if not years, to get this stuff repaired. Um, so what I'm trying to showcase thus far is from the beginning of time, of Google's time, uh, to now, you see a pretty basic linear trend, which is this. Google likes value. Google wants to put the stuff that provides the most value at the top and they're hell-bent on making sure that the spam and the crap and the people that are engaging in manipulative uh, black hat SEO don't ever see the first page of a, a Google search result. So the mentality that you need to have is you need to be focusing on 
value. You need to focus on how do I provide value to the people that are coming to my site. And these are people that are looking to buy homes, sell homes, invest in homes, other real estate agents. Uh, th these are the people that you need to be focusing on as far as you know, how do I provide value. Now, another thing about value is when you focus on value instead of focusing on just how do I manipulate, uh, good things are just going to happen naturally. Uh, people are going to stay on your site longer, which is a factor. Uh, link relevance. Pe just people in your industry or related industries are going to link to your stuff if you have really good content. Uh, you're naturally going to have your keywords in there. Uh, you're naturally going to get people that will share your stuff on Facebook and Twitter and other social networks, uh, depending on what you're, you're doing. Um, so focus on value. Uh, if you think about the, you know, this, this, again, this old mentality of, of how do I game the system, uh, which again, I can't tell you enough how many people uh, I speak to still have this mentality. Uh, even if you are, let's say you're trying to rank for, again, Calabasas Real Estate. If you have a page uh, set up for Calabasas Real Estate, and you have a paragraph on there that has the, the phrase Calabasas Real Estate in there 14 times, uh, even if you were to get, even if that were somehow to rank uh, on, on the first page, which it's not, and again, that stuff hasn't worked in, in a decade. Uh, but even if it did, if I'm reading through a paragraph that has Calabasas Real Estate in it 14 times, uh, I'm just going to hit the back button. Uh, you know, nobody's going to stick around for that. So, again, this dated mentality of how do I gain the system, just get rid of that because it, going forward, uh, it, it's just not going to help you. Uh, so, again, value. Uh, last thing I want to just uh, talk briefly about is, and I get this question equally as much, is uh, how do I, you know, what is value? What do I focus on? Uh, and, and the answer to that is hyperlocal. So when we talk hyperlocal, we're in an age now where you're competing against companies like Zillow and Trulia and, and big companies. And the one thing that you can do better than them and the, the one facet where you can really provide more value, infinitely more value to a consumer than they can, is with the hyper-local stuff. So what I'm talking about is, is you need to focus on a specific area and make sure that your content is kind of catered to that area. Make sure you have photos with captions, uh, videos if you're into that kind of stuff. Now if you're blogging, blog about local events, uh, blog about the real estate market in that area. Uh, again, make sure your domain name is something that kind of represents that area. Not only is it that going to have keywords in it, but that's going to kind of limit the, the scope of your site to make sure that it's very clear that you're focusing on this specific area. And once you've done that, just focus on providing value to the, the people uh, in that area to the people that are going to be coming to your site based on wanting to find information on that area. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button. If you know any agents or brokers that have this uh, negative type of mentality that I was discussing in this video, uh, please be sure to share this video with them. And if you're in the market for a real estate website that's mobile responsive and super hyper local and pretty awesome or so I'm told, uh, check out agentfire.com. Thanks.